or say, give us a boy, you. <laughs> As if my ancestors are owing their ancestors a male child. You can imagine the folly. So the two girls are not his. That's how they kept pushing my mother that she had five children. All girls. She be, it is the family that even makes it in life that the name will continue. Do you know that some mothers resent the birth of their babies because the baby is a particular gender? You don't know? Okay, welcome to our world. You're welcome on the EVUN show. Today, we're discussing gender disappointment. In our local parlance in Nigeria, they say problem, not the finish. It means there would always be challenges. At some point, the concern is getting pregnant. At another point, it is being able to carry that pregnancy to term. A whole new level of worry and anxiety is what the gender of the baby would be. Darling. <laughs> You can never tell how not Libra you are until it hits you. Many people do not really bother what the gender of their first child would be. Trouble only starts when the second, third, fourth, fifth decide to copy and paste the gender of their predecessor. <laughs> Believe me, gender disappointment is a thing. For some mothers, it affects how they bond with their newborn. It could be as bad as crying at the sight of the innocent baby. Mm -hmm. Before you castigate, wait. There are quite a number of factors that make mothers want to have a feel of both genders. In this part of Africa where patriarchy is thick, there are cases where the birth of a male child validates your longevity. I mean the longevity of your marriage in a household and even determines your stake when it comes to inheritance. And when it comes to matters of monarchy and the throne, there are no chances of ever becoming Iyoba without having a male child. And sometimes the desire to have a particular gender could stem from things as simple as loose words from friends and families. For example, saying to a man, you're a lazy man, you give birth to a girl. And then later on, cheering another man, now man you be, you give birth to a male child. Let's make it clear. Gender disappointment is not limited to a particular gender. Although here in Africa, it is mostly disappointment towards the female gender. I know mothers of boys who so badly want girls. Hmm. Matter of fact, I heard the story of a lady who initially wanted just two children. So a bouncing baby boy came first. And then, like most of us who feel it's our duty to balance out the gender ratio in the world, a second and last baby must be a girl, she said. And then she got pregnant again. She didn't bother for a scan. She was so certain of the gender <laughs> that this pregnancy was going to be a girl. And so at delivery, a handsome baby came. But her disappointment won't let her see it. So she told herself, I'm going to try one more time. She was born into a family of four boys and one girl. She was that one girl and she felt so lonely. So she told herself she wasn't going to let that happen in this family. So then she got pregnant again. Instead of one, she had two, a twin. Oh, she did series of ultrasound. She saw a boy, but the other wouldn't reveal its gender. The legs were crossed to birth. So Madame went on to shop for pink and blue. Let's fast forward to delivery. A boy came out first, then minutes later, another boy came out. She cried from delivery room to her house. Now, not only women experience gender disappointment. I've heard tales of men who abandoned their wives at the hospital without clearing the bills because the woman gave birth to yet again the same gender. In my case, 
I wanted to go into the delivery room once and for all. I wanted a twin, a girl and a boy. Finish. Matter of fact, I had a scripture for it. Genesis 5-2. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. I have told you how I waited close to three years, right? Before taking in. And so I took in and I didn't know what was happening. So um, I felt I was becoming unnecessarily lazy. My body was somehow so I exerted myself the more to work. I didn't bother for a test because at that point I was weary of doing tests. I'd done quite a number of strip tests and I had gotten to that point where I said, mm, Q Sarah Sarah. <laughs> so not long after I found I was pregnant, I lost the pregnancy. Sad, right? Mm -hmm. Shortly, I took in again and I was certain I was carrying a twin. I did the first scan and we found just one baby. I told myself, mm. the second baby was hiding me. Oh, um, <laughs> I did scan. By the third scan, I was already settling in my head that, well, it's like it's just one. And so, a beautiful baby girl came. Sometimes, eh, when our heart desires don't come true, it might just be for the best. Like, I, now I'm just thanking God that God is quite selective with answers. Hmm. It was from the hospital I knew that twins was not made, made for me. There was a woman who had twin. Hmm. When one starts crying like this, the second one joins that cry in solidarity. Hmm. Mothers of twin, I hail thee. So the gender matter, I wanted just one more baby and I really wished for it to be a boy. I took in and I had a significant dream that made me believe I was carrying a boy and that the name was Michael. I lost that pregnancy around four months or so. During lockdown 2020, although I wasn't really trying for a baby, but I got pregnant again and I strongly wanted a recompense of the last pregnancy I thought was a boy. So I counted down to 20 weeks when it was possible to find gender on scan. It was a girl. <laughs> I checked back again like three times if probably the first scan could have been an error, but it wasn't. One of those times I went to check, the lady asked me why I was checking and I told her calmly I wanted to know the gender I was preparing for. While that is true, I didn't want to admit to myself that I was hoping it would be a boy. Hmm. I could not believe myself when I got home and I was trying to tell my husband how it went and I broke down. I wanted it to be a boy because I had somehow convinced myself that the last pregnancy I lost was a boy and I really wanted God to repay me in that. My husband and I had to have conversations and break it down why I was so bothered I was having a girl and what my reasons were for wanting a boy. My first reason was that like I said earlier, I wanted a boy because I told myself my previous pregnancy that I lost was a boy. My second reason was that I just wanted to have a feel of what it was like to parent a boy child. And my third reason, matter of fact, there was no for that reason, just pure sentiment. Really, I feel most of the burdens we carry if only we can learn to put them in words and break them down, we'll be able to breathe, honestly. All the reasons other people have, aside from mine, why they want a particular gender, are someone to continue the family name. <laughs> Should be, it is the family that even makes it in life that the name will continue. I mean, what's the use of the continuation of a name that is not relevant? Yeah, you make it first and see if that name will not continue anyways, regardless of the gender. Plus, this is your personal sentiments. Do not put it on a child. Second, for the female gender, we believe that they get married off and the home becomes empty. Hello, sir and ma. Were you really hoping that your male children will marry into your home? Oh, 
you do not really wish them well. Third, for companionship. Some mummies of boys feel there's no one to do girly things with and there are times like soccer times, they are all alone. Mommy, <laughs> you should find friends that you can do girly things with, that you can hang out with. If you didn't used to have this year, make it a decision to build a sizable community of friends you can do girly things with. Plus, if this is any consolation, you know that if you had a girl child, it's possible she might not have been interested in all these things you envisioned. Mm -hmm. I acknowledge that for some, it could be deeper than any of these things that I've mentioned. Even deeper is the fact that afterwards, we begin to beat up ourselves being disappointed that we were disappointed at the gender of our baby. We spend time telling ourselves, I thought I was more mature than that. Why am I such an ingrate? For some, it is the guilt that hits us when we look at the baby's face and tell ourselves to think for a moment, I wanted you the other way around. While for someone like me who settled that way before delivery, for others, it could last as long as delivery and even longer than delivery. Whichever one it is, whether you experienced it or you're still experiencing it, you are not the devil. Now you know it is a common thing, okay? So breathe, sis, <laughs> and learn to talk to people. We all need somebody to lean on. Now I look at my babies, and I don't think of any way better than the way I have them. They are two girls. They even bond with their dad more than they bond with me. Though the insensitivity of people continues saying things like, you have cheated your husband twice, you should try for a boy, or you are not done yet to, so God will provide a boy. One even said straight to my husband, both are girls and both look like your wife. You should have your own. No? <sighs> you can imagine the folly. So the two girls are not his. Or say, give us a boy, you. <laughs> As if my ancestors are owing their ancestors a male child. <laughs> that was how they pushed my mother. She had five. Five girls. She wanted three. But thank God, Sha, that she gave birth to five. If not, I wouldn't have been here. <laughs> we do not have control over the insensitivity of people, but we have control over our own emotions and our lives. Do not let anyone make you feel less, whether you're a king of boys or mommy for the girls. You should feel complete. Do not let anyone make you push yourself beyond your parenting limits. You know, that you can only parent two children successfully looking at your parenting skills and financial latitude hmm. and you have two boys or two girls my brethren have those two and drink water and drop couple hmm. if you go and push the limits last huh? everything will not zero it will not zero <laughs> plus who told you that the next one you're about trying for will not be the same gender hmm my two cents, a drops mic.